welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at the back of my truck and if you haven't figured out, I have a new toy. I have purchased myself a battery powered hedge trimmer. This one happens to be a DeWalt. It's of the 20 volt line. And I got this at I think a really good price. Normally I think it sells for around 150. I've seen it on, Am I'm sorry about the lighting. There's the sun and I'm trying to hide in the shade because the sun is blaring and either way. <laughs> I bought it as factory reconditioned. So apparently somebody bought it, didn't like it, returned it. It went through whatever checks or steps DeWalt has to do to make sure that they can basically resell it at a discounted price. If you haven't noticed, or if you haven't been paying attention, or if you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Jason. I'm building a garden here in Growing Zone 8A, oh, I'm sorry, 8B now that the USDA charts have changed. Not that it really makes a difference all that much, but I'm in Eastern North Carolina. That may make a difference to you. If you're new to the channel, you may not know that I have a lot of hedging and I plan on growing more. Let me show you. I have hedging here, 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 all along here, a row here, which I hope to grow further down that way, and all along here, and eventually in the front of the rose garden. So as you can see, I have quite a bit of hedging. And to use the manual shears that I've been using for a while, it gets a bit tedious, and your arms get really tired, although it is a good workout. And I'm not going to throw away my manual shears because they do have a place. Let's go back and look at my new toy. Now in the box, I also got a instruction manual. So that's going to be important if, you know, one reads instruction manuals. But uh, we're not going to do that right now. <laughs> I, I decided on the DeWalt trimmer for, very, for various reasons. And let me just go over those as quickly as I can so as not to bore you. One. I have DeWalt batteries because I have a saw and a drill and is, that, is there something else? Oh, I just bought a tire inflator. So I have some DeWalt tools, but my primary yard maintenance tool has been Greenworks or brand, I should say, has been Greenworks. And I have a lawnmower. I have the weed whacker, strimmer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I have a chainsaw. I have a... Oh, an extended, like a tree saw. I have a tree saw. So I have numerous Greenworks products, but then I also have DeWalt's. And many of you may be in the same boat where you're carrying multiple batteries for multiple different products. And I really don't like that. The other thing too, is that Greenworks kind of looks like they started changing their battery design. And I was, I'm afraid of buying a new battery because some of my old batteries are getting old. They're at least five years old now on some of them. And I'm afraid of getting the new style and it not being able to fit my old tools, thus forcing me to buy new Greenworks tools to fit the new batteries, which doesn't make much sense. Now the Greenworks hedge trimmer has gotten excellent reviews as opposed to the DeWalt, which has a 22 inch blade here. The Greenworks has a 24, but it's worried about the whole battery thing and again and then i have to carry multiple batteries so if i can standardize on one brand with one set of batteries and battery design that really hasn't changed in god knows how long i think i'm just going to migrate over to dewalt now i'm not mr Moneybags. uh i'm not going to be flipping over overnight but like i said this was sort of a deal scenario i kind of need it because using the manual shears especially with all the hedging that i currently have plus what I intend on growing in the future, something like this is gonna come in incredibly useful. And it's gonna save my arms. I have this now. Eventually, if my weed whacker dies, I'll switch over to a DeWalt or if I need something, you know, again, I'm not gonna get rid of my Greenworks stuff overnight. It works, it works quite well. And then hopefully one day, everything will be unified under one battery system and then DeWalt will turn around and change the battery system and force you to get all new tools to go with the new battery system. Cause that's the way that kind of works, right? <laughs> so now I've used corded hedge trimmers in the past and enjoyed them. So this is going to be my first time using a cordless. I don't expect to be much different. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I did read the reviews on this and the reviews were okay. This isn't the best hedge trimmer on the market, but I think it all comes down to personal preference. There were some hedge trimmers which had qualities that this didn't have and there was 
This head trimmer had qualities that others didn't have, and I think it just comes down to your preferences. This, again, sort of works for in my favor because it's DeWalt, I have other DeWalt tools, life is good. I'm not gonna wear any gloves or safety gear because that's the way I roll, but don't be like me. Wear gloves and safety gear when operating machinery like this because you don't want to lose an eye or a finger or anything like that. Pretty self-explanatory. Keep your fingers away from the thing while in motion. Otherwise, you'll lose them. This can allegedly cut up to uh, three quarters of an inch. And this video is not sponsored. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning, but this video is not sponsored. And this isn't really a review. This is just, I bought a new toy. I bought it for a specific reason. And I'm going to give it a whirl. So let's get to trimming. See how this thing works. Well, this is, in case you didn't know, my golden ticket privet hedge. It's a variety of privet that is non-invasive. It is sterile. The one thing I do like about the golden ticket is it's very hardy. Uh, the one thing I don't like about it is it grows like a weed. <laughs> I've already pruned this at least twice, if not three times during the course of the year. So if you've been watching the channel for a while and you think I've pruned it two or three times or three or four times, let me know in the comments below because I've lost track. So I'm just gonna give this just a quick brush over the top because I really wanna bring this to about the height of the fence here, which is about four foot. Currently, I wanna keep this hedge at about four, at about the four foot level. Over time, I may let it grow a little taller, but right now, four foot is the plan and that is what I'm going with. So I'm just gonna give this a quick little swipe. Now it does appear to have a safety trigger. So that's good. Hey, it turns on. That's good. So let's get cutting. I don't think that was too bad. It was pushing some of the branches a little more than I would have hoped, but that's because this is not a dense shrub yet. It's growing into that. These are only a couple of years old, actually. So I imagine in three or four years time, when they're more mature and more dense, this thing will just cut through all this stuff like butter, like it was. It just I just had to go a little slower. And I did in 30 seconds what would have taken me at least a couple of minutes to do with hand shears. So that's pretty cool. Let's go over to something denser. Now here what I have in front of me, I believe is a Japanese holly. And the reason I believe that is because the, unlike a box, the edges of the leaves are serrated. Whereas a box, they're smooth, the, you know, the edge of the leaf there. So I believe this is Japanese holly. I always try to trim my, these, these hollies in the winter time. Normally I do them in December, sometimes January. Again, it's cold, they're not gonna put on growth. I'm gonna give this a cut. Now this is a little denser than those golden tickets. It'll test the hedge trimmer here and it also just give me a sense of how quickly I can trim this up versus if I did this with a manual set of shears. Right, that's not bad. I don't think it's that bad. I think this did a pretty good job. This again is the, the densest, densest of bushes because it's been uh, through, I guess, quite a bit, but it's filling in, it's coming together the way I want it to. And I just noticed another spot I have to trim. But I mean, again, in a matter of seconds, I did, now again, I have used corded ones before and they've, done just as equally good as job. And the best part about this is that I'm not tripping over a cord, whereas if I was using a corded, you have to be mindful of the cord and not tripping over it, that kind of thing. So yeah, all those shrubs that I showed you in the beginning of this video that I have to trim, this is gonna make light work of it. Like I said in the beginning, this isn't, uh, this isn't really a review. I don't feel myself qualified to review a hedge trimmer but this is just my thoughts and feelings on this. And again, I needed a hedge trimmer because I'm growing a lot of hedges. And it was a really a ch choice between Greenworks, which I already had and is very inexpensive, versus the DeWalt, which I'm building up my tools. And I'd like to unify all the batteries on. But what I need to do, it's working quite well so far. I've only trimmed a few hedges. It didn't really drain the battery at all. And I'm using the five amp 20 volt, So it's not the biggest battery. The grab handle is very solid. The hand grip is rubber. It's nice. It does what I need it to do. And that's the most important thing. I'm just gonna go around, trim up what I need to trim up, make everything look beautiful for the springtime. And then in the springtime, all of my hard work will go out the window and all these uh, shrubs will start putting on 
yes, I know you want to be put down, but the people on the YouTubes want to see you. So there's actually some people only tune into this channel just for you, Sophie. As time goes on and I get more and more shrubs, this will just become more and more of a invaluable asset. In fact, I'll probably bring you along on a couple of jobs I think I'm going to do this uh, this winter uh, so far as trimming and pruning and shaping the garden. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, click that bell icon to be notified when I do post up a new video. This way you can follow along with Sophie and my antics as I build my garden here. Okay, as I build my garden here in Growing Zone 8B, Eastern North Carolina. And this project that I'm going to be doing over the winter to prepare it for next spring. There's going to be stuff I'm growing in the greenhouse over the winter. In fact, I have to actually start planting some of that so I can get that rolling while the temperature is still moderately warm. And also to make a note, uh, over on my Etsy store, I just posted up a couple of copies of my book, Pictures from My Garden. It's a photo book uh, just showing various things around the garden, uh, as chapters on wildlife and dogs and flowers, of course, and vegetables and all that good stuff. So if you want, go over there, go over to my Etsy store, pick yourself up a discounted copy, because if you go over to Amazon and purchase a copy over there, it's gonna cost, uh, I think, almost twice as much as what you can grab it for over on my Etsy store. And if you'd like me to autograph it, I will. Just leave a note saying, please autograph the book. That's about it. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.